Thank you. We will all offer the prayer of meditation. Good Father, help us to receive help this dawn. May our desires be fulfilled. You've said you'll give satisfaction. May we receive. May peace overflow in our hearts. May our families become reconciled. May we receive protection from curses. May our children do more well. Surely, we believe that we will plant better blessings. May we live confidently. May we have assurance. May we be bold to receive a great reward. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's receive help this dawn. Exodus chapter 16, verse 28. No matter what anyone says, there is no lie to, in God's word. So who is it that you trust in? Satan is inside of you. Why do you believe in yourself? How is it that you believe in yourself? What, what benefit is there in trusting the Satan inside of you? The, the most worthless person is somebody trusting in themselves. So who is that? Someone filthier, the foolish person who is like a she bear, a, a she bear that's had her cubs taken away. So the foolish is, is someone who trusts themselves, and you keep doubting and you keep having other thoughts, and you and your children are ruined. The only one to trust in is the Holy Trinity. So you don't even you live not even knowing who you need to believe in, and that's why you choose the things to be ruined. God says he will make things the very best for you. But to not even be able to trust in that, that's what's so pitiful. So God says, when? When are you going to, to end those habits? And yet you keep trusting in other things. Why don't you have joy? God is a God who gives joy, but it's because you don't believe. You keep doing other things. As much as you're not joyful, you'll be ruined. So those who smile, they receive blessings. That household receives blessings. But you keep doing the things of ruin. You, you know, those people who think and research, they're all ruined, and yet you keep researching. Who am I? I'm someone who ruins myself. So if you live according to yourself, then you'll be ruined. If you have faith, you'll live. So what is faith? It is all joy and all peace being given. That's Romans chapter 15, verse 13. But you don't do this, and you keep trying to do the things of ruin. It's so sad. It's so strange. Why is it that I, why is it that I make myself ruined? Because it's the demon inside of you, your ancestors' demons, your demons. And yet we keep going the, the way to be ruined. When God tells us to do well, yes, it's pleasing to hear, so we say amen, but then we go the way of ruin again. So it would be good if you, if you could do well according to your amen, but he does according to what you do, and that's why you're ruined. Someone who wants to boast of their name, 100% they're ruined. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 2. If your name's a little bit, uh, you know, bad, then 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 you you kick up a fuss saying, "Oh, my pride's been hurt." And then if your name's, you know, boasted of, then you you're so happy to go the way of ruin. So if you say that, "Oh, I'm so upset about this or that," how is it you do that? If you're rebuked, you shine, but you hate you don't you hate that. You say amen to wanting success, but then you say you hate it. So you're doing this. 
you know, you're, you're, you're so, f your, your reflex is so fast. Who's that? You and me. And so when God looks at it, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, it's not like we're performing in a circus or something. So we will do well. God will help us. In a bean sprout container, those bean sprouts, if you repent, as long as there's water, it will sprout. It will happen. So let's read together. Then Jehovah said to Moses, How long do you refuse to keep my commandments and my instructions? Amen. So here it's not Moses, it's yourself. So put your name. Then Jehovah said to, to my name, How long do you refuse to keep my commandments and my instructions? Amen. So God, he feels so frustrated. He's saying, how long will it be till you receive blessings and become a man? Why is it? You know, we, we want to receive blessings. We want to do well. We want to become a man. You know, we're like, God, don't say that. I want to do well now. But God's like, how long? Will it be till you receive blessings? So why is it, you know, both sides, their thoughts are so different. I'm like, God's not giving. I, I'm so crazy to receive. I've been here, you know, I don't even know if I've slept or not. But we're not doing according to God's word. God wants to give so much. So it says here, how long? Will it be to you keep my commandments? What are the commandments? To love God and to love your neighbor. In the world, they talk about love, but they're nowhere near love. This love is the love that God gives, which is faith. So it's this love. That is the commandment. So people say love is the best. You know, they talk about gone with the wind. You know, they, they say that's something that's so filled with love. They, they say how good love is. You know, they will say something like, oh, these days I'm so satisfied with, with love. But if you're drunk, you're not in your right mind. It's only God's love that gives us satisfaction because we've been created with that love. So it's only the Holy Trinity's love that makes us satisfied, that makes us happy, that brings about miracles. As much as we love him, he says, I'll give you money and you fill up your storehouse. So that's the key. But those people who haven't eaten of this love, so a bean sprout that doesn't drink the water, it won't grow. No matter what you give it, it won't grow. You know, no matter if you cover it with a silk blanket, it's not going to sprout. A month later, it's still a dried bean. It's only, it's only water. It's only by repentance that it will sprout. So God says to take this satisfaction by keeping his commandments, his statutes, so these statutes is, are the regulations that God has decided upon to move them to actions. So we say we want to do well. We want to receive help at dawn. But God's like, are you going to receive help or not? So then what's, what's wrong? It's me that's wrong. I'm not doing the duty of, of man. If I did do the duty of a man, then God wouldn't say this. So us living, I think I'm living well, but I'm living as an enemy of God. So may we realize this. So when, when is it that I can get to the commandment? When, when I can become someone who can do these commandments to, to act these commandments? So yesterday I committed a lot of sin. It was some grandmother from our church. I was in a church, I was in a car and I was passing her by and I just, and I passed her just thinking, oh, she's there. So one of the, so the, so I was, one of the deacons was driving me and I thought, oh, I should have met up with her. Why? Why is it that I just go, went past her? So that's how bad I am. 
that's how bad I am. But you look at people like that, I don't see that person here. But as much as you sin, all you ever do is just gauge for people's reactions. If you haven't repented, a child doesn't gauge people's reactions. As The more you sin and you become an adult, that's when you gauge other people's reactions, as much as you sin. So we talk about how, you know, they increase in their scheming. But someone who is, who is, um, Innocent, they don't gauge people's reactions. So if you repent of that, then you receive blessings. It's because you don't repent that all you do is is look around for other people's reactions. So a 20-year-old, someone who's grown up badly, they're, they're so quick at picking things up. But, but so, they, so they have a lot of evil, but someone who's grown up so... Um, so sheltered, they're not quick at gauging people's reactions. So if we've grown up to age 20, it seems like, you know, we don't know anything, but the sins of our heart, the sins that the ancestors passed down have all been stored up so much. But someone who keeps, who keeps getting you know, hit this way and that way. They have a lot of, they can, they're quick to gauge people's reactions. But there's two types of wisdom and knowledge. So in the world, there's two types of wisdom and knowledge. If you know this, then you're inside of Christ, you're inside of the Lord. Otherwise, you don't know. You know, other religions, we shouldn't compare, but other religions, they don't know this, they don't have this. You go, some world university professor, they don't know there's two types of wisdom and knowledge. So they don't know if it's a wisdom and knowledge that makes you ruined or succeed. So that's what's so sad. But even more, even more so churches, they don't know. And they just, they just talk about wisdom and knowledge. Sometimes the wisdom makes you live. Sometimes, you know, it makes you ruined. And so they're confused. God's wisdom makes you live. So it says, how long will it be to you keep my commandments and my instructions? God, he's saying, when are you going to receive blessings? When are you going to have your desires fulfilled? He's rebuking us. And yet we're mistaken to thinking that we do want to do well. So our thoughts, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8, let's find that. They're enemies with God. They're different with God's thoughts. So it's your thoughts that ruin you, but you keep living according to your thoughts. Why is it that you're ruined? It's because your heart, your thoughts are different. If there's something important I'm praying about it, I become completely an idiot. I go, I lower myself so much. And so yesterday I said to that young person, you need to fix your heart. I said, you have to fix your heart. What are the fruits that you fixed your heart? Someone who you would never dream about that. They curse you. When you receive it without feeling anything, that's when your heart's fixed. And that's when they just, they just, well, they just listen to that. But because they've never experienced it. You're being cursed as a dog pig from whom? Someone who you'd never imagine. You'll receive curses from them. God tests you. Someone who unimaginably, you know, in a place that it could never be like that. And so if you, if you receive it from here and there, you know, a nail... You you have to you have to look around 360 degrees and test to see if it's nailed in straight. And when you're like, how could someone like that say some something like that to me? And when you pass that, that means you're you're straight. But when I look at it, it looks like that nail's straight. But from another side, it's leaning. You can't see it from your side. So you're like, no, this nail's in straight. Why aren't you giving it to me? God's like, quickly receive. But you don't know that you're crooked. But when you look from this other side, you can see how bent it is. So Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8, let's read it together. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, 
nor are your ways my ways, declares Jehovah. Amen. And so God's like, He's like, how long will it be till you, re- till you receive blessings? He's rebuking us. And we're like, give, give. Why aren't you giving to us? But we're crooked. So who is it that's it's crooked? It's, it's us. So the way to fix this, the only way is by the blood of Christ. It's only by the blood of Christ. If you repent a lot, no matter what anyone says, you don't feel anything. But if you repent a, a, a little... You get upset. You start calculating. Today, do you want to do you want to be victorious? Do you want to plant blessings? Even now, God's saying, "Receive blessings." How long are you going to live like that? It doesn't just end there. If you read Levit, I don't know if you've read all of Leviticus chapter twenty-six, but if you look there. So once you're ruined and ruined and ruined, and just before the very end, just before you eat up your children, you know what sign there is? You start selling food weighed on a scale. The only place in the world that does this is Japan. If you, anyone who's bought food in Japan, they they weigh all their their food before they sell it. You try and buy just plain rice. They have some scales. I thought, this isn't a butcher's. Why do they have scales? But they they weigh it. And if it's, you know, a little bit heavier, they, they'll take it a spoonful out. You know, they say, you know, this is in the Bible. This is, this is just before you're ruined. So that's why I tell you to read Leviticus chapter 26. It's all in there. So when you get to that point, you're just, That's a country that's just about to be ruined. Yes, this word is mentioned in the Bible, Leviticus chapter 26. You know, I tell you to read it, but you you so don't listen. You refuse to do the things to receive blessings. And then you say, give, give. I don't understand. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. To verse 4. If we read this, why is it that I tell you to obey and listen to my to my words for you to do well and for your descendants to do well? Oh, but I have a bad job. Don't be crazy. It's not your job that fixes your destiny. If it was your job then that fixed your destiny, then all the presidents should have fixed their destiny. But which of our presidents have fixed their destiny? So now, you know, wherever you go, they're like, okay, so you say you believe in Jesus. Let's see. So that seems to be the best job, but there's there's no one whose end has been good. So it's not the job. It's obeying God's word. Even if you're a beggar, even if you're in prison, if you obey, you go to become governor. You'll have a good end, but otherwise it won't. So it's all about obedience. He says, how long will it be till you obey my commandments? How long will it be till you receive blessings? I don't know if you're some some pickpocket or swindler. You know, if the parents do a lot of evil, the, the young children, all they do is gauge people's reactions. That's because the ancestors have sent these d- filthy things down. They're so, um, you know, they're just lounging around and 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 they're bold faced. But all you have to do is repent of that. But you don't. Where does this obedience come from? It starts with repentance. Let's read from verse one. Now it shall be, if you diligently obey Jehovah your God, being careful to do all His commandments which I command you today. Jehovah your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you obey Jehovah your God. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country. Blessed shall be the offspring of your body and the produce of your ground and the offspring of your beasts, the increase of your herd and the young of your flock. Amen. 
It's not about whether location is good or bad, whether your job is good or bad, whether you've, you're educated a lot or a little, whether you've received from your parents or not. All you have to do is hear my words and obey them. Keep the commandments. So how long will it be till you listen to my words? So if you do listen to them, then you'll become high above all the nations of the earth. So if you go somewhere, someone who's grown up, someone who's 30 years old, they come with my drink, you know, to receive blessings like this. It's someone I met for the first time. I don't know if they put fly spray on their hair or not, but these days, I don't know if it's hedgehogs are so popular, but how is it? I don't, I don't know what skills you need to make your hair spiky like that. But his hair was so strange. This is someone I'd never, you know, heard before, but I'd never heard before. So it was for me to repent. It's what I must have done when I was young. So I was like, Lord, me meeting this person, that must be my past. But he came following, there were all these people out on the street following me to give me a drink. So all the world's for me. Oh, pastor, why are you kicking up, why are you kicking up such a fuss about someone giving you a can of drink? You know what? A hand-sized cloud, that's when the showers are coming. So they're my blessings. The whole world has been prepared for my blessings. So how long will it be till you receive blessings? How long are you going to suffer for? So you say you're a cleaner on the street or you're just selling some radishes or, you know, you just lug a cart around selling apples. That's why you don't receive blessings. No, here it says the blessings will be poured out. So wherever you are now, you can do well, unlimitedly, even your children. But it says, how long will you be till you live according to my word? We don't live like this. So from now, let's have a new start. Let's read again from verse 1 to 4. So how long will it be till you receive these blessings? You say, please give it to me now, but you're somewhere else. How long will it be till you can, be, till you can receive this? When you see someone next to you who is crooked, and you're like, oh, they're filthy. I'm going to have nothing to do with them. That's a fake. That's someone who can't receive blessings. When you see someone who is crooked and with love to say, you should live like this every day to exhort, to have that love. That is someone who keeps the commandment. If you're like, I don't know about you, that's someone who is evil. That's someone who's living according to their thoughts, a dog pig, a foolish she-bear that's had their cubs taken away. You shouldn't meet someone like that. So is the person next to you, if they never tell you this is what you should do to, to, to be right, you have to know there's someone filthier than a she-bear that's had their cubs taken away. So the person who has to say that, hates to say it, is a problem. Someone who has to hear it is a problem. But when you hear that and you say thank you and you fix it, but if someone says that to you and you're like, do you have to do that to go to heaven? That's a that's someone who is cursed. That's someone who doesn't repent. That's someone who lives according to their thoughts. So they're ruining themselves and their children. Let's awaken from this and receive blessings. If you say to someone, write words, they hate it. Many times I've witnessed to you, this lady who's a university professor, she was so thin from cancer, like she had cancer. And she came to me for counseling. You don't even need to, to look. I said, how you tore down people and slandered people. If you have a heart of envy, it's your bones that rot. That's Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30. If you're envious and jealous and you grumble and complain, your bones rot. And so you have all these diseases like these, these terrible diseases like cancer. And I said, who is it that you can't forgive? And she was huffing and puffing and saying how her husband deserved death. And I said, if you don't forgive your husband, you cannot live. This is something so basic to the faith. But fake churches, they never say to forgive others. These pastors, they themselves can't forgive others and they're tearing other people down. 
And so she was crying and talking about her situation. Those tears are demons just bewailing their, their, their hard life. That's someone who's foolish, a she-bear that's had their, their um, cubs taken away. They're just grieving about their bad luck, you know. So I, so I rebuked her so severely. That's the right person. That's the right friend. But but people don't do that. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 13. Who is it that says correct words to you, whether you hate to hear it or not? Even though I'm so filthy, you know, it's the pastor or, or my wife that says correct words. Even spouses don't want to say it to each other. They're like, oh, they're filthy actions. You know, that's the evil person. Whether they want to hear it or not, you have to be able to say it. And You have to first repent of that sin as mine and then say it. Then they'll receive it. But you don't do that. And that's why they won't receive it. And so that person later came to me. She had these notebooks, about three or four. Every time her husband had sinned, you know, he had lipstick on his shirt. You know, what year, what month, what time and she had a whole stack like this that's why she was receiving disasters and curses the evil always remember evil the righteous only remember the good so because she'd only been filled with evil that's why she had evil you know evil comes out 24 hours a day but to to remember that so you by someone what what people say what they remember that's how you know who they are so what am what am i like From this time, let's receive help and let's change it to good. Those people with cancer, those who aren't joyful, they're only remembering other people's bad things. That's what I was like in the past. I wouldn't remember the good things, only the bad. Even with your spouse, there are all these good things, but even the day of your wedding or going and eating to eat noodles together and holding hands, you don't remember that, but you're like, oh, they never bought me this. And that's what you remember. You know, all the things that upset you when you went and ate noodles. That's all you remember. You know, someone who's worthless, they, they don't take the cabbage. They take all the outer rotten leaves. You know, you, if you bring just the leftovers, you say you're crazy, but that's what you're doing. So let's have a new start. How long will it be till you receive blessings? From today, let's have a new start. A new start. Let's say to the person next to us, now I will say correcting words. Now I will say right words. That's me receiving blessings to say these right words to my neighbor. But if you don't fix it yourself and then say it, then you'll be cursed. If you've got this big, you know, big dirty thing on your face and then say it to someone else, you have to always repent first yourself and then when you have genuine love and then to say so wanting other people to do well that's me doing well that's the commandment that is truly the commandment Puzan first church saints let's do well how long will it be till you receive blessings that's what god is saying but you're like god when are you, when are you going to give so who's right it's god where it's me that's wrong we will do well let's all pray Lord, a bean in a bean container, as long as you pour water, it will sprout. In Christ, we believe we will become a new person. May we continue to do four-step repentance and receive all of these promised blessings. How long will it be till you receive these blessings? That's God's word. But here we are saying, oh, you know, why aren't you giving? Help us to realize that it's me that's wrong. If, if I'm truly right, am I genuinely loving the person next to me? If I have loved, why is it I haven't repented of their wrongs as mine and then to pierce them? If you fix these actions, you'll receive blessings. Why can't I say this? From now, may we become someone who keeps the commandment to love my neighbor as myself. We confess we can't do it by our strength. In Christ, when God's love comes to me, and I'm satisfied by it, that's when I can love my neighbor as myself. That means whether I go in or out, I receive blessings. It's regardless of my job or my position, my status, that I'll receive blessings. 
Lord, we believe it will surely happen according to this word that our descendants will receive blessings, even our beasts, whatever our work is. Blessings will be poured out. May we pass these down to our children. May we share it with our neighbors. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. How long will it be till you receive blessings? At this dawn, may this be a dawn where we receive blessings. 